Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to insert a helicoil inside of an exhaust bolt that's broken. So at this point, when that happens, I put in new helicoils in there. And also, I'm going to put a new one in here because the threads are damaged as well. First of all, you can see I blocked off the two ports, the intake and the exhaust port. What I have here is an SAE coil insert repair kit. It's from Princess Auto and there is a link under today's video to where you can purchase this kit online. Now when you do this, you want to find the right size of the bolt that was in there previously and it was a 5 16 18 It's a standard bolt. Now this kit's nice because it does come with the tap, the drill bit and the tool and it's the proper drill bit size for that specific helicoil. So in that case, I'm just going to insert this bit in my drill and I'll be drilling approximately one inch inside there and it's not a bad idea to add some cutting oil on your drill bit. Now when you do this, you want to drill as straight as you can. And by the way, here's how deep I am into that hole. Just about less than an inch. Now I'm going to drill the next one. This one should be easier because there is no bolt left in there. And here's the tab that came with the kit. It's a 5 16 18 thread. I'm going to insert it into this adapter here so it's easier to thread it. I'm going to add some cutting oil in the hole and then make the threads. Now I'm going to repeat the process in the other hole. Once it's at the end, don't put too much pressure, just bring it back. Now what I do is I air blow all the thread holes. Make sure to wear safety glasses when you do this. And now you can see that the threads are beautiful in there. Now you want to reach in your kit, grab the tool, and grab one of the inserts. Now you want to insert the coil inside the tool like this. You can also set the depth as to how far you want the coil to go inside the threaded hole. I'm not too worried about that so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Now some people put some Loctite here inside the threads where the coil is going to go in. I'm not going to do that today, I'm just going to be putting it in like this. So basically you just want to start it, screw it in like this. And now it's in there pretty tight and I just pushed a little bit further. And now I'm just going to repeat the process on the other hole. And here you can see how deep the helicoils are in. They're not in all the way but they will suffice where they are. They are in there nice and tight which is good. And now don't forget to remove the protective foil. And you can see the coils in there. I probably didn't have to screw them in as deep. You can actually leave them one turn in after you're on the edge here. But because it's so damaged, I put it in further. Now that the coils or inserts are in there, you want to grab this little tool here from the kit. This little tool here is like a little punch. And what it's for is to pop the little tang behind the coil. You can see a little indentation in here. That's so that you pop it in and bust it out. That's so that when you screw in your bolt, it's not hard to do when it gets to that little tang. If the tang's gone, then the bolt's just going to go through. And if you don't have a kit with this little tool in, you can always use a smaller roll pin punch. Put it in there and pop the tang. So basically, you just put the little tool in, you're going to feel the tang, and then you just pop it. And now you can go ahead and reinstall the muffler. Also, after installing the coils, you want to make sure that the threads on your muffler bolts are in good shape. And since I don't want that problem again, I'm going to put some anti-seize on the bolts. This will ensure that they never seize up in there again. And how are these coils going to work for threading? Well, they work excellent. It's basically like screwing it into regular threads. And even with the coils, I was able to tighten up the bolts properly. 
Thanks for watching guys. If you have some tips on how to make this job easier, please post your comment under today's video. Any tips that can make the job easier are welcome. Hopefully this video here today though has helped you how to repair this problem if ever you come across it. Make sure to subscribe guys and you can see me next time. Thank <laughs> you.